Exercise 15, Conversation 1. Listen to part of a conversation between a student and a clerk at the campus bookstore. Excuse me, do you work here? Yes, I do. How can I help you? Oh, well, um, I'm looking for a book for, for English 100. Okay. Uh, textbooks are in the back of the store. Did you want a new book or a used book? I, um, I don't know. Is there much difference? In the price, I mean. Well, that depends. We price the used books based on the, uh, uh, depending on their condition. But in general, you can probably save, I'd say, at least 40%. Oh, great. I'll do that then. Okay. These are the used books uh, over here. Now, uh, which section did, are you signed up for? See, every instructor selects a book, so there are several different textbooks for each course. And English 100 is a core course, so there are uh, a lot of sections. I don't remember the number, but it meets at 8 o'clock. In the morning? That sounds awful. Really? I've registered late. Do you know the instructor's name? Yes, it's Henry. Uh, Henley... Uh... Hendrix? That's it, Hendrix. Oh, well, that's not so bad, then. She's a good teacher. I wish I'd taken that class with her. That's what I was... what I heard. My roommate had her last semester. Oh, then why don't you use your roommate's book? I don't think uh, Hendrix changed the order this semester. Wouldn't you know? My roommate sold all her books at the end of the term. Oh, so she sold the one for this course? Too bad. Well, this is the shelf, and you're looking for a book called uh, College Writing. I think it's green, or maybe green and blue. There should be a fairly clean one here. Thanks. Look, here's one. Oh, but it's pretty marked up. Let's see it. Sometimes it actually helps to use someone else's highlighting. I mean, <laughs> if you happen to get, a, get an A student's book. True. I see your point. But really, I'd really rather highlight it myself. Okay. That one didn't look like it belonged to an A student anyway. Hey, look at this. I don't think there's a mark in it, except for the name. Wow, that's great. Wait, let's check on the edition. The edition? Does that matter? Uh-huh, it really does. Sometimes there's uh, new information in a later edition, so that's why the professor orders it. But the worst part is if the instructor is always referring to, say, page 50, and the information is on a different page in your edition, well, uh, it gets confusing. Oh, anyway, this is the 10th edition. And you need uh, the 10th edition. You really lucked out. The new one would have cost you at least $30, but this one's only 15 Thanks. Wait a minute. See this? Right over here, over the shelf, it's a list of the books that Professor Hendricks ordered. And it looks like... Yep, you have another book for that class. It's not required, but uh, it's recommended. So I don't have to buy it? No, it's up to you, but you, you'd better look. Uh, take a look at it before you decide. It looks like a handbook. Or really, you know, um... A style manual. Exactly. Well, then the instructor will probably want you to, uh, you know, use the format and the uh, style in this book for your essays. I'd better get it then. Don't you think? I would. How much is it? All of these are $10, but they're fairly clean uh, because, uh, because people don't usually write in a handbook. I mean, it's more of a reference. Well, I'll take one then. This one looks good. Okay. Are you looking for anything else? No, just this. But I really appreciate your help. You saved me some money. I'm glad it uh, worked out for you. I'm a student, too. I just work here part-time, and believe me, I understand the problem. Most of the textbooks are uh, 50 or or $100. When you're taking, say, four classes, that really adds up. It sure does. Anyway, thanks again. Sure. Number one. What is the purpose of this conversation? Two, why didn't the woman use her roommate's book? Three, according to the man, what is the problem with using an older edition?
4. Why does the woman buy the style manual? Five, listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. I don't think uh, Hendrix changed the order this semester. Wouldn't you know? My roommate sold all her books at the end of the term. Why does the woman say this? Wouldn't you know? Six, what can we infer about the woman? Exercise 15, Conversation 1. Listen to part of a conversation between a student and a clerk at the campus bookstore. Excuse me, do you work here? Yes, I do. How can I help you? Oh, well, um, I'm looking for a book for, for English 100. Okay. Uh, textbooks are in the back of the store. Did you want a new book or a used book? I, um, I don't know. Is there much difference? In the price, I mean. Well, that depends. We price the used books based on the, uh, uh, depending on their condition. But in general, you can probably save, I'd say, at least 40%. Oh, great. I'll do that then. Okay. These are the used books uh, over here. Now, uh, which section did are you signed up for? See, every instructor selects a book, so there are several different textbooks for each course. And English 100 is a core course, so there are uh, a lot of sections. I don't remember the number, but it meets at 8 o'clock. In the morning? That sounds awful. Really? I've registered late. Do you know the instructor's name? Yes, it's Henry. Uh, Henley... Uh, Hendrix? That's it, Hendrix. Oh, well, that's not so bad, then. She's a good teacher. I wish I'd taken that class with her. That's what I was... what I heard. My roommate had her last semester. Oh, then why don't you use your roommate's book? I don't think uh, Hendrix changed the order this semester. Wouldn't you know? My roommate sold all her books at the end of the term. Oh, so she sold the one for this course? Too bad. Well... This is the shelf, and you're looking for a book called uh, College Writing. I think it's green, or maybe green and blue. There should be a fairly clean one here. Thanks. Look, here's one. Oh, but it's pretty marked up. Let's see it. Sometimes it actually helps to use someone else's highlighting. I mean, <laughs> if you happen to get, a, get an A student's book. True. I see your point. But really, I'd really rather highlight it myself. Okay. That one didn't look like it belonged to an A student anyway. Hey, look at this. I don't think there's a mark in it, except for the name. Wow, that's great. Wait, let's check on the edition. The edition? Does that matter? Uh-huh, it really does. Sometimes there's uh, new information in a later edition, so that's why the professor orders it. But the worst part is if the instructor is always referring to, say, page 50, and the information is on a different page in your edition, well, uh, it gets confusing. Oh, anyway, this is the 10th edition. And you need uh, the 10th edition. You really lucked out. The new one would have cost you at least $30, but this one's only 15 Thanks. Wait a minute. See this? Right over here, over the shelf? It's a list of the books that Professor Hendricks ordered. And it looks like, yep, you have another book for that class. It's not required, but uh, it's recommended. So I don't have to buy it? No, it's up to you, but you, you'd better look. Uh, take a look at it before you decide. It looks like a handbook. Or really, you know, um... A style manual. Exactly. Well, then the instructor will probably want you to, uh, you know, use the format and the uh, style in this book for your essays. I'd better get it then. Don't you think? I would. How much is it? All of these are $10, but they're fairly clean uh, because, uh, because people don't usually write in a handbook. I mean, it's more of a reference. Well, I'll take one then. This one looks good. Okay. Are you looking for anything else? No, just this. But I really appreciate your help. You saved me some money.
Glad it uh, worked out for you. I'm a student, too. I just work here part-time, and believe me, I understand the problem. Most of the textbooks are uh, 50 or or $100. When you're taking, say, four classes, that really adds up. It sure does. Anyway, thanks again. Sure. Number one. What is the purpose of this conversation? Two. Why didn't the woman use her roommate's book? Three. According to the man, what is the problem with using an older edition? Four. Why does the woman buy the style manual? Five. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. I don't think uh, Hendricks changed the order this semester. Wouldn't you know? My roommate sold all her books at the end of the term. Why does the woman say this? Wouldn't you know? Six. What can we infer about the woman? Conversation two. Listen to part of a conversation between a student and a librarian. Hi. Is it true that I can search the library catalog from home? I mean, from my home computer? One of my friends at the dorm told me I could uh, do that, but I live off campus, so I wasn't sure whether it would work for me. You're talking about the OASIS catalog, which is the online library catalog system. Here, it's easier if I just show you at this computer terminal. Okay, thanks. See, first you get online. Oh, I get it. It's all through the Internet. Right. You click on a browser, then um, go to the library, the home page. Wait, wait. The home page is uh, www.awu.com. Right. See all those options? Oasis is what you want for the catalog. So you click on that. Okay, okay. Did you use a password or uh, anything to get into it? No. All you need is an internet connection. But if you actually want to look at the books... I can do that. Sure. You want to go to a different, a different website, though. Here. First, enter www.netlibrary.com. There. See? This site lets you access all the e-books in our system. Oh, well. Do you have many of those? Thousands. They're all part of our collection. But we, we store them electronically, which means we don't have to have all that shelf space anymore. Sounds good. But if you want to access Net Library, then you'll need to... You'll need a username and a password. So how do I... Do I just set that up online from home? No. You have to set up the account here in the library. You can do that on this terminal if you like. Great. Then I can, I can see the books on screen from my apartment. You can view the books from any place you have access to the Internet. If you're out of town or you go somewhere on break, you can still use Net Library. Of course, we don't have all of our books online yet, but we're working on building the collection.
So can I go directly to Net Library to do a search, or、um, do I have to go to what do you call it, the Oasis catalog first? You can go right to the Net Library if you want, but that'll just show you the books and、uh, databases that are online. If you search Oasis, you'll have access to all of the books in print. I mean, the ones in the library as well. Of course, you'll have to to come into the library to check them out. Let me see if I've got this. Oasis is exactly like the catalog for the library here at school, and so、uh, I can find all the books and materials that are on the shelves. But they, I can't see them. Right. But if you want to go to Net Library after you use Oasis, then you can look for a particular resource to see whether it's part of our online holdings. If it is, then you can just read it on your computer screen. Look, you can enter a title or an author or even a subject, and then you get a list of books. When you click on a title, you see the table of contents. You can read one chapter or the the whole book if you want. That is so great! Oh, one more thing: if I don't have time to read it all, do I just start over again next time, or I mean, is there like an easy way to? To get back to my book, it's very easy. You just bookmark your place and click on your ebook when you go into the site next time. It'll open to the page you marked. Well, I think the best thing for me to do is、uh, open an account and then go back to my apartment and start working with it. There's a help screen on the site, but if you get stuck, just call the library and someone will walk you through it. And.、Um... How do I pay for this? Do I have a one-time fee or a monthly charge or what? No charge. It's part of the library system. You're a student here, so when you log in, you'll be asked to enter your student ID number after your username, and then your password. And、um, that's it. Here's the screen you need to open the account. I'm sure you'll like using Net Library. Everyone does. Number one. What is the main topic of this conversation? Two. What is Oasis? Three. How does the man set up an account? Four. How does the man pay for Net Library? Five. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. Let me see if I've got this. Oasis is exactly like the catalog for the library here at school, and so、uh, I can find all the books and materials that are on the shelves. But they, I can't see them. Why does the man say this? Let me see if I've got this. Six. What will the man probably do now? Conversation two. Listen to part of a conversation between a student and a librarian. Hi. Is it true that I can search the library catalog from home? I mean, from my home computer. One of my friends at the dorm told me I could、uh, do that, but I live off campus, so I wasn't sure whether it would work for me. You're talking about the Oasis catalog, which is the online library catalog system. Here, it's easier if I just show you at this computer terminal. Okay, thanks. See, first you get online. Oh, I get it. It's all through the internet. Right. You click on a browser, then、um, go to the library, 
The home page. Wait, wait. The home page is、uh, www.awu.com. Right. See all those options? Oasis is what you want for the catalog. So you click on that. Okay, okay. Did you use a password or、uh, anything to get into it? No. All you need is an internet connection. But if you actually want to look at the books, I can do that. Sure. You want to go to a different. A different website, though. Here, first enter www.netlibrary.com. There, see? This site lets you access all the e-books in our system. Oh wow! Do you have many of those? Thousands. They're all part of our collection, but we we store them electronically, which means we don't have to have all that shelf space anymore. Sounds good, but if you want to access Net Library, then you'll need to you'll need a username and a password. So how do I do? I just set that up online from home? No, you have to set up the account here in the library. You can do that on this terminal if you like. Great, then I can I can see the books on screen from my apartment. You can view the books from any place you have access to the internet. If you're out of town, or you go somewhere on break, you can still use Net Library. Of course, we don't have all of our books online yet, but we're working on building the collection. So, can I go directly to Net Library to do a search, or、um, do I have to go to what do you call it, the Oasis catalog first? You can go right to the Net Library if you want, but that'll just show you the books and、uh, databases that are online. If you search Oasis, you'll have access to all of the books in print. I mean, the ones in the library as well. Of course, you'll have to to come into the library to check them out. Let me see if I've got this. Oasis is exactly like the catalog for the library here at school, and so、uh, I can find all the books and materials that are on the shelves. But they, I can't see them. Right. But if you want to go to Net Library after you use Oasis, then you can look for a particular resource to see whether it's part of our online holdings. If it is, then you can just read it on your computer screen. Look, you can enter a title or an author or even a subject, and then you get a list of books. When you click on a title, you see the table of contents. You can read one chapter or the the whole book if you want. That is so great! Oh, one more thing: if I don't have time to read it all, do I just start over again next time, or I mean, is there like an easy way to? To get back to my book, it's very easy. You just bookmark your place and click on your ebook when you go into the site next time. It'll open to the page you marked. Well, I think the best thing for me to do is、uh, open an account and then go back to my apartment and start working with it. There's a help screen on the site, but if you get stuck, just call the library and someone will walk you through it. And.、Um... How do I pay for this? Do I have a one-time fee or a monthly charge or what? No charge. It's part of the library system. You're a student here, so when you log in, you'll be asked to enter your student ID number after your username, and then your password. And、um, that's it. Here's the screen you need to open the account. I'm sure you'll like using Net Library. Everyone does. Number one. What is the main topic of this conversation? Two. What is Oasis? Three. How does the man set up an account? Four. How does the man pay for Net Library?
5. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. Let me see if I've got this. Oasis is exactly like the catalog for the library here at school. And so uh, I can find all the books and materials that are on the shelves, but they, I can't see them. Why does the man say this? Let me see if I've got this. Six. What will the man probably do now? <laughs>